in this particular video i want to show you how to do this this one and that one as well if you are new here consider subscribing to this channel over here i make videos about photoshop illustrator and graphic design in general please subscribe like comment and share so without any further ado let's get into it Moving forward in the video, I'll show you some shortcuts to make your work faster. So let's get started by creating the simplest clipping marks you can ever create. Let's create a shape, a square, and then let's bring in our image that we want to clip mask. Yeah, so our image is here and our shape is just beneath it. Before you can clip mask an image into a shape, you have to make sure that the shape is under the image in the layers panel so this one as you can see the woman's image is on top of the shape so this will make the clipping marks possible so once it is here you can reduce the size fix the square to control t to resize and then you just come over here and right click on the girl's layer and then create clipping mask as you can see it has been fixed into the square control t that we fix into the square if you change the color of the square it changes the color of the background that's how it works let's remove the stroke and then let's add this color as you can see it's very powerful very nice okay so moving on to the next one over here we have to first let's clear all these ones so that you can just start from scratch let's clear it like this let's first create our shape so let's pick our rectangle to then create our Fair square like this and then make sure there's no stroke we don't want to stroke with this one and let's change the color to something like this and then control G to duplicate somewhere here then to select both of them you uh, ask the rectangle one copy is selected you press on control on your keyboard and then you click on rectangle one the original one under it so that both of them will be selected and you press on ctrl j on the keyboard to duplicate both of them and you bring it down small like this okay now we have our shape then we group all of them so to group you click on rectangle one and then you, you press on shift on the keyboard to click on the last rectangle this rectangle one copy two and then you press on ctrl j on the keyboard to group the layers and now we have grouped it and to align it properly in the workspace you press on ctrl a on the keyboard to select everything in the canvas and then you use the alignment over here so we want to center it so we click on this one first and that one as well so now let's bring in our image and to bring in our image we just go to file place and let's take the image that we used yes so now the image is here we just resize it very well to fit the shape that we have and then like this then we click on the check mark like this and then we right click on the image and then we go to create clipping marks and as you can see very nice design like that okay so that's it for this one let's move on to the next one okay so with this one here that one to let's clear this one so that we start from scratch and create it let's delete all of them like this and let's start creating our shapes i used polygon so let's pick our polygon too and i used the size six the polygon with six sides so let's draw our perfect polygon by pressing on shift on the keyboard and then we draw and then we position it very well let's do the size small okay then ctrl j on the keyboard to duplicate ctrl j to duplicate and then we position it somewhere here and then we select all of them here and we duplicate them like this we position them somewhere here and then we select three of them like that and then we control j like that to duplicate and then we put them somewhere here somewhere okay then we select the top one like that 
and we bring it down here to form that nice shape okay so we bring um, we group all of them let's group all of them from polygon 1 to polygon 1 copy 3 Control J on the keyboard to group them and then let's make sure it's aligned very well in the canvas so control A and then we use the controls over here to align them properly and so now that our shape is ready let's go and bring our image so control D to deselect the whole thing and then file place and this image is what I use and then let's resize it okay let's click on the check mark and then the shortcut for using a clipping mask is that when you're about to clip mask an image into a shape you press on alt on your keyboard and you bring the mouse pointer in between the image and the shape when you see that arrow and the square you just click on it like that and the clip mask will just take effect in the canvas yeah so that's it that's how i created this one as well let's move on to the last one okay so the last one over here i use a texture to clip mask into a test that is brain tech over there so let's start from scratch let's delete everything here control j and then let's delete it like that and then let's write our test so we pick the test to like that and then we come over here brain And then let's enlarge it small so that we can see the effect very well okay so something like that and let's pick photo here okay sharp and then let's bring in our texture please and then you click on alt as you see that that sign over there you just click on it like that your texture have been clip masked into your test like that very beautiful if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to this channel and make sure you turn on the notification so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be the first person to be notified thank you very much for watching if you want to learn more about photoshop and graphic design in general just click the video on the screen until next time guys quench not your creativity peace